Good evening. This is CTV News for this Monday, January 12th. I'm Patricia Vallone. And I'm Gina Barti. Glad to have you with us tonight. The proposed Super Walmart in Oxon Hill has made its way to the county council again for an appeal hearing. CTV's North Tagore is in Upper Marlboro with the story. There is a lot of passion in county council today, those who support the Super Walmart and those who oppose it. It's, it's all about the safety of our school, um, creating a, a, a learning environment. People think, oh, job opportunities, but the truth of the matter is that they don't hire until you're 18. Today is an appeal hearing for the, the Walmart after a special exception request to expand the proposed site was denied by council in August. This is the bad place for Walmart. So the district council held a hearing and ruled against the zoning hearing examiner. It's next to the district line, which means a lot of the shoppers from the district will come out to Walmart and pay Maryland taxes. Now the council has 60 days to approve or deny the special exception request from Walmart. From Upper Marlboro for CTV News, I'm Nora Tagori. After the decision is made from today's hearing, the next step is to bring the final site plan before the council for approval. Many folks are happy that schools and the federal government opened two hours late this morning. The reason? The State Highway Administration says it prevented congestion and backups onto the roads. The entire region was under a freeze advisory until 9 this morning. This video was shot about 10 a.m. and as you can see, traffic was moving freely. There was no snow and um, just no ice and it was just rain this morning so traffic was fairly fluent to me um, and that was my experience so um, didn't have a problem with traffic at all. I didn't really get on the highway but um, as far as the main roads they were fine. Um, besides the traffic light, you know, traffic moved pretty swiftly. And according to the National Weather Service there is a chance for snow tonight and later this week. Meantime, slippery roads this morning are the reason for delays and closings at several Maryland public schools. The area was under a freezing rain advisory since 10 p.m. on Sunday night through 9 a.m. this morning. The rain led to icy sidewalks and slippery road conditions across the region. 14 Maryland school districts had a two-hour delay this morning, including Prince George's, Montgomery, Howard, and Anne Arundel counties. Hartford, Allegheny, Frederick, Garrett, and Carroll counties were all closed today. Temperatures are expected to drop overnight, making it possible that wet roadways and sidewalks could refreeze. Well, in one week, the president will deliver his State of the Union address. One of the topics he'll discuss is the Buy Secure initiative, which will help protect the American people from identity theft and cybersecurity. Obama plans to have companies notify consumers of a data breach within 30 days and go after criminals who steal and sell the identities of Americans. He also wants consumers to get their credit scores for free. The president plans to introduce the Consumer Privacy Bill of Rights to Congress by the end of next month. And lastly, Obama wants to protect the personal information and privacy of children by proposing the Student Digital Privacy Act, which means the data collected on students in the classroom should only be used for educational purposes. Meantime, a family is displaced after a raging fire ripped through their townhouse. Around 12.30 this afternoon, a firefighters were called to the 2000 block of Marlboro Court in District Heights, where they found the second floor engulfed in flames. Five people were home at the time. Fortunately, everyone made it out safe. Firefighters arrived. They found a uh, two-story middle-of-the-road townhouse with fire showing from the second floor. Apparently, according to the occupants, a, uh, a candle left unattended uh, fell over onto a piece of furniture, igniting that, that furniture. Unfortunately, a puppy that was in the home died from smoke inhalation. Well, after battling five home fires within 14 hours this weekend, the Prince George's Fire Department is encouraging residents to check their smoke alarms monthly. Sunday morning in the 6700 block of Gateway Boulevard in District Heights, a working smoke alarm alerted a family that their home was on fire. On Saturday, a three-story apartment building in Fort Washington 27 people were displaced because of a, of a faulty furnace caught ablaze. Each incident, the homes had working smoke alarms and no one was injured. Officials say residents should use a 10-year tamper-proof smoke detector and families should plan and practice an escape plan in case of an emergency. 
Police are investigating a homicide that took place yesterday afternoon in Suitland. 20-year-old Jamal Allen was found fatally shot in his car about 5.30 in the 2700 block of Sweetwater Court. Now, detectives say the shooting does not appear to be a random act. Anyone with information in this case is asked to call the Crime Solvers hotline at 1-866-411-TIPS. A reward of up to $25,000 is being offered for information that leads to an arrest and indictment in this case. And you are watching CTV News. I'm Patricia Vallone. And I'm Gina Barti. 